Burn the Witch, Chapter 3. She Makes Me Special. The two girls are on a bed reading books. Okay. Server. Leader. Sitting around the corner. Crown Council. Central Table. What are you doing? Banks Jr. It's her. After all that I did for you, you couldn't even be bothered to say goodbye when you transferred. What business could a man like you have with the Crown Council? Oh, gosh. Well, actually, I know this is coming late. I came by to give you a form of farewell in light of my transfer. Don't lie. Perhaps you caught wind of the crisis your sports are in. Huh? Did some happen to them? Sam? And bows? It seems I have given you far too much credit. Well, fine. You are their direct superior. It struck me as unprincipled not to inform you. The formulation of Bulga Parks was approved yesterday evening at 2200, although the procedure has not yet commenced. It seems Bang Knife is already on the move. You are aware of his methods, are you not? Look out for your subordinates, at the very least. Let's go, Arkvine. Yes, ma'am. Well, this is the right mess. Back to Bang Knife. I ain't trying to kill you. Just keep my way and follow orders. Huh? You're... I can tell by that look on your face that you recognize me. I suppose you would. I know who you are too. Not someone I recognize. The heck? Bruno Bangknife. He's one of the top performers, director of the Inks. But what's someone like him doing here? Sheesh. So one of you recognizes me. That's stung, you know? Well, who knows? Pull out the phone. Ping. It's me. Give me a Mercy Dragon Blockade on Penfront Street. Exclude all the rubberneckers who are gathered, but not the wingbine employee. You'll be able to tell who it is right away by the piper's mantle. Bruno. Okay, comes up. T -t -t -t. Detain that employee on the spot. A dragon was used in an heiress attack against a newspaper, and he's the culprit. Uh oh. So, you were the chief to give us that mantle, Cole ended. Makes sense, right? A dragon clad with the power to attract dragons attacked the office of a tabloid that once wrote a million article about him. Although, I don't actually care if it makes sense or not. Listen here. You mean you've entrapped Balgo? But there's no value in doing that. But there is. Yesterday at 2200, Balgo Parks received a punitive dragon designation and the elimination procedure was activated. He'll have a bounty on his head within 72 hours tops. And as for the one who puts him down, their name will be remembered in reverse London for all eternity. Huh? I'm taking him into the Ink's temporary custody. Then, once the elimination procedure is finalized, he's a goner. Don't bother negotiating or whining. I'm well within the scope of counter-dragon law. Like I said earlier, I don't plan on killing you two, as long as you don't get my way. Mr. Bruno, hmm? I must say, your die job is so cringe. What did you say? You're dead. <laughs> Bogus put on my shoes. Bam, just erupts in energy. Niha, what? I didn't do anything worth the blame. That's not what I meant. I was praising you. Well said. I didn't do anything worthy of praise either. I treated you all nice. Since your lackeys. Snap, crackle. Think you can get cocky with me? Bring on the workers' comp forms. Guess I'm writing up two incident reports. Okay. <laughs> what do you think you're doing? You ain't gonna fight me? Oh, got captured. Oh, she's pointing down. You meatheads, look up. Get your shields up. Boom! Separates them. Plunk. Grabs them. No Noel, you came to my rescue? Yes, I suppose the end result makes it appear as though I have. Brilliant. I've got no clue what I've got myself into, but luck's on my side. Bloody L. And she's right behind him. I've got a question for you. They don't seem the right attitude for posing a question. What are they teaching you over in Piper's? Did you bring Macy here? Why is she with the dragon? Keep it to one question, you will snot. That's right. A scouter and brought her over. She found an infant dragon for inside and raised it. Hmm? Wanted to believe that dragon was my doing too? Did you? Was it me? That woman is one of those humans who are sometimes born front side 
with significantly strong magical abilities. She's a watcher. She sees dragons. She would have made her way reverse side sooner or later, just like you and Noel uh, Nihashi. Huh? Just smacks away. Don't go getting agitated or hone your witch kit. What would you do if it discharged? Oh, grabbed it. The heck? Boom, boom. Don't blast. Gas. Oh, Nina. Marshall. He grabs her. They fly away. Then Nina, let go. Don't struggle. I'm going to take you somewhere safe. Dragon's coming out. Bam. Ellie. Roar. Okay. Boggle Parks. Macy, the jewel. You're going to nab him. And give me the runaround? Rickenbacker! Boom! His dragon comes out. How naive. Hiccup, hick, hick. Sniffle, hiccup. Uh, stop crying already. But we left Ellie behind. Like I said, we can't take the dragon. They're harmful to normal people. But quit your gouching. I can't stand that about you. So you really do hate me. Uh, why not deal with you? I think... We should be safe for the time being after coming this far. I also cast a cloth, so they shouldn't be able to find us. Macy, what happened? Okay, it's like, Nina, you know I didn't like being in that group, right? Yeah, I'm just tall, clean up well, and know how to dance. They put me in stylish clothes and fancy makeup and made me out to be this icon. Of cool or something. I know. That's why you quit, right? No. If that was all it was, I would have quit a long time ago. But I couldn't. You were there and if I quit, I'd have become a nobody again. We have flashback. Then, two months ago, I found that little thing. In the trash? It looked like a dragon straight from a picture book or a cartoon. No one else seemed to see it. So I thought... I, it was a hallucination. I thought, oh, you can see things even without drugs. But when I brought it home, it drank some water. Oh, I thought, it really is alive. I gave it food, and it ate that too. I gave it all kinds of things, but it seemed to prefer fruits and vegetables. It never went to the bathroom. It just kept getting bigger. It started to look more and more like a dragon dragon only I could see. I feel like I've become special. Selling songs, going on stage, you and the rest of the group were amazing. I was the only one who wasn't my true self. But if I quit, I'd have nothing. I was sure that no one would notice me. But once I took Ellie home, things changed. I felt like Ellie was giving me strength. I felt like Ellie would take me somewhere special. That man, Bruno, came to me late last night. He told me he needed my powers and the dragons. I thought, this is finally it. I'm finally being led somewhere special. Nina, I... And he breaks through? Yo, finish saying your final goodbyes? Property damage, aggravated assault, unlawful use of a witch kit, and tons of other crimes. But let's put all that aside for now. Take a look at this. Punitive Dragon. Okay. Volgo Parks' Punitive Dragon destination was just finalized. From this point on, every witch and wizard in Verse London has their sights set on quashing them. What? Me? What's going on? Roar in the dragon in the distance. And that is chapter 3. So yeah, she just found a dragon and big knife like took her to reverse London. So yeah, now Binks Jr. knows that they're in trouble. Hmm. So yeah, um and they got away so that she could tell them like her flashback. So she didn't like feel like she was being herself. That sucks. 
and then he just crashes in. I mean, it makes sense that Bing Knife could, you know, locate them since he's like one of the seniors. Yeah, Ball goes in trouble if they don't get him away. Yeah, where are your thoughts? Um, where are things going? Yeah, uh, chapter four is next. Um, so yeah, where are your thoughts? Where are things going? If you're new, subscribe, comment. Thank you for watching and have a good rest of the day. Bye.